Hey everyone, it's Kariana, your favorite witchy coach. Um, today I'm going to be talking about um, a topic that one of my uh, clients had brought to my attention um, and I wanted to talk about it today. Um, I, this is like take three on my video today. So earlier today I tried to film, my voice was completely gone. Now it's going in and out, in and out. So it's not going to be a long video, guys. But I wanted to bring you guys something, a little reminder, a little kick in the pants. Um, so you wouldn't have to wait a whole week um, to uh, watch a video. So, okay. So um, if you guys are new to our channel, I want to reintroduce myself. I think Jay-Z said that. Let me reintroduce myself. So I want to reintroduce myself. Um, I am a certified law of assumption uh, uh, coach. Uh, a life coach and a meditation practitioner. And I'm also studying to um, uh, have my uh, MSW. Um, so I like to bring a lot of uh, cool, fun topics to the channel um, and kind of bring something new, the explanations anyways, very straightforward. I kind of have been dubbed as this kick in the kick in the pants kind of coach. And I feel like I am, I'm very straightforward and I'm gonna give you guys some tough love, straight, straightforward advice today on how to deal with um, intrusive thoughts um, and um, the 3D, why you're trying to manifest if unfavorable things are popping up, okay? So I'm gonna read, oh, also too, sorry, before I forget guys, I am jumping ahead. Huh, I'm just scared my voice is gonna go and I'm not gonna be able to deliver this video to you guys, but, um, uh, all of my information about one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you guys need my help um, on this journey, will be down in the description box below, along with any cool stuff that we might be giving away um, on our channel. Um, and yeah, so you guys just check that out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because it really helps us. It helps me um, get the word out and just, you know, help more people. And that's what I'm here for. You guys really mean the world to me. And that's why I was like, I am not going to stop. My voice is gone earlier. I couldn't, I couldn't film, but just drank a bunch of tea, um, relaxed. And um, I came back because you guys mean the world to me. And I want to bring you guys some kind of advice this week, right? So I have my candles lit and drink a tea. Like I said, I'm cozy. I hope you guys are cozy in any part of the world that you guys are in right now. Um, and yeah, I hope this finds you guys well. I don't hope, I intend, right? I have to catch myself when I do that all the time. All right, so I'm gonna read from the actual um, email just so I can get this topic right. But I do remember it being something very straightforward along the lines of, yeah. So what to do when you're spiraling, having really intrusive thoughts so much so that you feel like you cannot pull yourself out. Okay, so she asked for that in thought transmission. Unfortunately, today it's going to be a shorter video, like I said, so I can't get into both subjects, but I'm going to address this. So, guys, I've talked about this on plenty of videos, but this is going to be your reminder. This is going to be your kick in the pants, okay? Um, there's a couple reasons why this could be happening, why you're having unfavorable things showing up in the 3D, and then you're having these intrusive thoughts and you're spiraling and you feel like you can't push, uh, pull yourself out, okay? Like, I've used analogies and sayings. If you're new to this channel, it's kind of my thing. So I always refer to like going down the rabbit hole, right? Spiraling, getting stuck there, not being able to pull yourself out. Having your subconscious throw a tantrum, right? Like um, a naggy friend, like a toddler. Um, you know, if these things are happening to you, there's a couple of reasons why it's happening, okay? So you guys all know what I'm gonna say. You have to get clear on what you want. And once you get clear on what you want, then you start implementing these things, whether it's be by yourself or you have coaching, right? It doesn't matter. But when you guys implement a strict mental diet, okay, like I always say, from A to B, there is an in-between, right? From old story to new story. From when the old story gets taken over from the new story, there's an in-between. And you're going to be uncomfortable in that, right? You're going to see a lot of opposing things. You're going to see a lot of hot colds. You're going to see a lot of back and forth and up and down. If you're not staying steady and you're not staying out of reaction mode. Okay. You guys must remember that in those moments, when you observe your thoughts, when you acknowledge these things that are come up, that is not the time to go down the rabbit hole and 
remind yourself of all the reasons why you're not lucky in love or you can't never get the job that you want or your friends always treat you like crap or your family always puts you last or your SP always doesn't doesn't prioritize you. That is a time where I want you to go hard, hard, hard and be flipping these things and flipping these things and flipping these things. And whatever your mind is bringing up next, right? Really pay attention to that because that can be the sneaky intrusive thoughts, right? Well, the sneaky thoughts, right? Sorry, not the intrusive thoughts, the sneaky thoughts that come in. Intrusive thoughts are what I, is what I just th- talked about. But when you guys have the sneaky thoughts that come in, right? It's more looks like you flip, you know, the negative thought and you're sitting there and you're doing whatever, right? Something mundane, something daily. And then all of a sudden, boom, you know, you get a thought of where's my manifestation at? How much time has it been? God, it's been two weeks. You're looking at your phone and you're going, oh God, the last text message that I got from SP was dot, dot, dot. You're looking at the clock and saying, now it's been two weeks and two hours and whatever seconds, okay? So whatever's going on, right, in those moments, if you guys go down that, that, or you're going to start to spiral into the old story, right? Because those thoughts support the old story. It's very sneaky, okay? You got, most of you guys don't even know you're doing it. That's why I made a whole video on it, okay? You don't even know you're doing it, but it's so sneaky. And all of those thoughts support the old story. Support you not having what you want. You're signaling to your subconscious, I don't have what I want yet, right? Whether it be I'm lucky, I'm unlucky in love, right? My SP said this in the last text message. Let me read it again. Looking at the clock and paying attention to the time. Watching your phone for the text message. Reminding yourself when your family is being brought to you that they put you last. Watching a rom-com movie. Because you know, guys, I always refer to rom-coms as analogies. Watching a rom-com movie and saying, my SP never did that. I'm so unlucky in love. I'm never going to have that. All those things support the whole story. So in those moments, that's fine. Okay, you have the thought. Now it's time to show up for yourself, okay? Get back on the horse, right? Take control of the car that you're driving because you're driving everything. Start is with you and say, you know what I was just getting? What what was I thinking? Oh my God, that's so it's such old news. It is such old news. I am so lucky in love. I get whatever I want from my SP. My SP always tells me what I want to hear. My family always puts me first. I'm treated like gold, okay? I always get the job I want. I show up and I'm hired because I am the best and only choice, right? So do you see what I'm saying, guys? It's very sneaky how those things can happen, okay? So it's either that that's happening, okay? And you're not catching those sneaky thoughts and putting those thoughts in check, okay? Or you're not allowing, you have to remember too, okay? I remind you guys of this. There is a lag in the 3D, okay? There's a lag. We're always ahead of the 3D. Okay, what we're experiencing now is a projection, okay, of our thoughts before everything that anybody's telling us and how they're reacting or what they're, how they're responding to us, how things, people, places, and things are are responding and showing up for us, right, are a projection of our old thoughts, okay, and so we're ahead, so you have to be patient, sometimes it's just a matter of 3D catching up with our thoughts, So let your 3D sort itself out with your thoughts, right? If your thoughts are in alignment with what you want and you've been being very strict and diligent, okay, and having the repetition, whether it be robotically affirming a couple of affirmations over and over again to calm yourself down, to keep yourself present so you're not thinking too far in the past and getting depressed and down and being an ego and victim mindset. We're not thinking too far in the future and being anxious and wondering when this is going to show up and being impatient and having those sneaky thoughts support your old story, okay? Um, yeah, so being present, right, and giving your 3D a moment to catch up. Sometimes it's just that, guys. If you can literally sit here and say, I've been trying to do this, Kariana. I've been really, really focused on my mental diet. I've been really, really strict. And if you're coaching with me, you've implemented my homework, as I like to call it, right? And you're like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm still paying attention to the three. Nothing's showing up in my three. It's favorable. I'm getting the opposite or I'm getting nothing at all, which movement is always happening. I always tell you guys that behind the scenes, it's always happening. 
okay? And so whether that is, you know, the case or not, um, if you guys are paying attention to this, sometimes it's just a matter of your 3D catching up, okay? It's just a matter of your 3D catching up. So there's, you know, you guys have to really pay attention to the sneaky thoughts that come up. You have to really pay attention to if you're being strict and you're saying, I don't know what's going on here, okay? You got to let the 3D sort itself out. Sometimes it's just a matter of catching up, okay? Um, and you guys got to give yourself some grace and some patience, okay? You have to remember that when you guys are having these things come up, right? And you spiral a little bit, okay? Now, you you know what I'm always going to tell you. I want you to get your guys' self out of that spiral as soon as possible, out of that rabbit hole as soon as possible, right? And reset yourself. Get back, step back into your power and step back into your power, step back into your creator mindset, right? You know what I'm always going to tell you. You've got to stop reacting, right? You've got to start showing up for yourself because it really honestly is where you dwell, guys, okay? But if you do have a moment like that, you're not starting completely over, okay? Just like I said, guys, it's not like you guys have completely ruined all of the work that you've done, okay? That's not a thing, okay? You pick up right where you left off, okay? And you start again. You reset and you begin again. You get back on the horse and you begin again. Reset yourself and you keep going and you get diligent with yourself, right? It's where you dwell. It's where you go back to, okay? But I always say, okay? You guys have to pay attention to where you're going back to. It's not so much the action out here, okay? You can interact and respond to your 3D, okay? You can be sitting in front of your SP, sitting in front of your family, or sitting in front of that interviewer, thinking you're not going to get that job. Your family is reflecting to you something negative, or your 3D is telling you how they don't want a commitment or they don't want to be in a relationship, okay? You can respond and interact. Okay, take the emotion, take the reaction out of it. You can interact and you can respond, okay? But it's where you're living in your mind, okay? Because that's what counts. It's where you're living in your mind. It's where you go back to and it's where you dwell, okay? So you can literally be responding to something in the 3D that you're not comfortable with, that is unfavorable, that is negative, okay? But if you're affirming in your head, the opposite and you're flipping in it, that is what's going to manifest, okay? If you're dwelling there, all right? So I think I've covered pretty much everything I want to cover in this video because I don't want it to be super long. I'm losing my voice more and more as I go. And I want to make sure that you guys, that I got the message across without completely losing my voice again, right? Um, so my my client also asked about thought transmission, and maybe when I'm feeling a little bit better, right, because I'm in Sandy right now, I'm healthy from head to toe, inside and out. When I'm feeling better, I can touch on this a little bit more. I can sprinkle that in the next video and maybe talk about thought transmission, or if you guys have any topics that you would like me to um, talk about in future videos, please leave that in the comments below or please reach out to my receptionist. Um, our email is on our website, okay? So I just want you guys to know that you're so, so powerful, always powerful, even if you don't feel it right now in this moment, okay? Pick yourself back up. Take the bull by its horns, okay? Show up for yourself, reset, and begin again, okay? Pick up right where you left off, okay? Pay attention. Two, flipping those thoughts in the moment, those intrusive thoughts, right? And the sneaky ones. And the sneaky ones, guys, observe and acknowledge what's coming up. Anything that supports your old story, be flipping, okay? Be flipping. Um, and also to remember, have some patience with your 3D. Let it sort itself out by your thoughts. Remember that there is a lag in the 3D, okay? Remember that you can respond 
and interact with your 3D out, out here. It's less about the action, okay? It's more about where you dwell in your head and where you go back to living in the mind, okay? Repetition, 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 diligence and discipline, guys. This is like squats for your brain, as I like to say, okay? It's an exercise. It's an exercise, okay? Be diligent in that. When you start an exercise from day one to day seven, you feel so much better. These intrusive thoughts, right? The unfavorable that's showing up in the 3D, it's not permanent, okay? You're in between A, old story, and B, new story. The new story taking over the old story. In between there, you're going to be a bit uncomfortable at times, okay? You have to know that what, wherever your thoughts dwell is what's going to manifest. It's what your 3D is going to shape to, right? It's what your 3D is going to conform to. It's what your SP, your job, your family, your friends, everything is going to conform to. Is the thoughts that you dwell in, the thoughts that you go back to the most. So catch those thoughts, whether they be intrusive and whether they be sneaky. And the more time, the more diligence you guys will be able to catch those thoughts and you guys will be able to flip them. And those thoughts will come up less and less and less. Trust me on this, right? Like I say in my analogy about the toddler, the toddler will calm its voice down and not throw so many tantrums, right? That naggy voice won't be there as much, right? So instead of 50 times a day, 100 times a day, it'll be 20, it'll be 10, it'll be five, it'll be zero, okay? Have some patience and grace with yourself. Guys, you are so, so powerful and you mean the world to me. And that's why I'm here today, even without a voice. <laughs> you guys mean the world to me. So take this, calm yourself, reset yourself, and know, remind yourself, decide in this moment how powerful you are and step into that power. Step into creator mindset, right? And most importantly, guys, tough love here. Stop freaking reacting. Stop reacting to something that is dead old, okay? It is a projection of our old thoughts, okay? Stop reacting. Concentrate on the solution and not the problem. And guess what? The solution is simple. Flipping those thoughts into what you want to experience next. That is the, always the solution, okay? I love, love, love you guys, and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.